Build. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, Nick and I have an interesting episode for you today. We are going to be doing a beginner tutorial on how to speed paint, but instead of watching Squidmar paint beautiful renditions of his Warhammer models, you're gonna watch me, a complete noob, his wife, speed paint for the first time. Absolutely. So we're going to be doing this in the slap chop method, which is just a way of putting speed paint onto your model in a way that actually gives you volume and gives you good definition on your model. So the first step that you're always going to do is you're going to be priming your model. You're then going to be doing a heavy, heavy dry brush, and you're trying to get that as heavy as possible with gray. And then you're going to be doing white over top, just enough to get the edges from the top as if there's light on the top of it. And then you'll be going through with speed paints on specific, specific parts of the model, depending on what color you want to use. And that should get you a good model onto the table. Basically, Nick and I are going to do a head to head comparison. So exactly. you guys can choose at the end who did it better. 100%. The first time noob or the dude who paints all day. 100%. So now let's show, yeah, let's show them what to do. Cause I find that, you know, absolutely actually doing it speaks, you know, volumes versus ah, volume. What we're going to do is to do the slap shot method. Sonam is going to pick her model. We're going to have the gray paint. So I was picking a model. Okay, so here are two okay. models. I'm gonna pick this girl. Nick gets that one, and Perfect. this is mine right here for everyone who's interested. Yep. Check that out. It's pretty cool. Built them yesterday. You'll take the gray paint that's on your um, your palette, which is just a play right now. We'll put that on there. I'm pretending like I'm putting it on. Nick forgot to press record. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. All right. Now, to do the dry brushing aspect, you're gonna take that makeup brush essentially, you're gonna dab it in there. And rub my face, right? No, please it's don't rub your so face up. Good. I know it feels good, but we're gonna right be Okay. So dab it into the, the paint essentially to get it on the bristles. And then just kind of take it off. And then you can I, as a wife, I am very disappointed in the choice of plates here. Oh wait, we don't use these plates anymore. Yeah, 100 percent Okay, fine. We're good. And Kay. now don't do that. Just enough so that way, like okay. you're basically just getting enough off of all it. Right. That's good. Now what do I do? Um, just go all over. You basically want the black to stay only in the deep recesses or in hard to reach places because it's supposed to be the shadow. So basically, I'm gonna. Oh. Oh, oh my if it's, god. If it's ah. a, okay, okay, go heavier oh. at the it's oh. fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. That'll actually be better for later. <laughs> what? No, no, it's good. Uh, it's a go a little bit heavier on the uh, on that. Yep, there you go. Now just it just kind of go all over. It doesn't really matter if it's a little bit messy. I think I'm failing at this already. No, it's fine. See, this is not as easy as watching a YouTube video. I watched the YouTube videos and they made it look way too easy. Nick wanted me to make five of them. Okay, well, we'll put it. It looks like now. All right, so I'm just gonna put this off screen. Everyone knows we're using this to kind of make sure that we. Yeah. All and right. just kind of go a little bit more. As long as it's show most... me yours, show me yours. Uh... Mine's doing kind of the same thing. Okay. Because it's basically like if you're mostly going from the top down, you're simulating as if there's light. What does that mean? Down. What do you mean by top down? So like going down like oh, this. Oh, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like stroking it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you're basically saying like, hey, there's not much I light. And listen to that. The light. Totally. The... So guys, for everyone who you know, guys, girls, everybody who's watching, bam. Bam. Top down, top I down. Didn't listen. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now I've gotten it. Now you didn't tell me my hands were going to get dirty. Oh, yeah. That's okay. going to happen. Try to see if you can get it into her face because the face is I beneath the grove. Just just shove it in there. See if you can get some gray in there because otherwise Next it's going to be hard. I am. Bah, 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 bah. Cool. So that's I'm basically. I'm not anything else get added on. Now I can't rub this on my face. No, you can't until after it's washed. Okay. So how does. How does it look to you? Okay, let me see yours. Can you check if they're focusing? Oh, it's probably focusing. Mine is a little bit heavier. That's fine, because um, all it really does is you're just trying to get out to shadow, so that way you can see the shadows, all right, next, essentially. That's yours. All right, next one. So it shouldn't be wet right now, because if it's dry brushed. It's totally wet. Is it wet? Yeah. Let me see it. No. Let me see. No. Let me see. Uh, that's fine. Okay. We'll try. We'll, we'll. You didn't really tell me the concept of dry brushing. Number one, make sure there's like no paint on your brush, basically. Yes. That's. I'm going to start like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to annotate your instructions. Oh, 100%. A lot of the times the instructions you have, you don't realize, but beginners like me don't understand them. Of course. So, so. step one, in Sonam's version, take a brush, dip it in paint, take it all off, and then brush them. 
Top down. Okay. So grab the white now. No, 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 I'm still working on this. It's good now. You're good. You're good. All right. White. White. So in the next step, we're just going to grab another brush. Uh, I'll grab this one and you'll use this one. You don't need to be as big as that one because the big one is just to get all the gray everywhere. Where'd I put the white? Uh, the white anywhere on there. Okay. So the white is going to be your highlights. These are basically going to show off like where the light is hitting directly on the model, on the skin and all that kind of stuff. So you're going to be mostly doing that from the top down. Same thing as before. You're going to take some uh, you're going to take some of the paint. You're going to put it onto the, the brush. Dab, dab, dab. Just enough. And then just kind of... Just enough. Just enough. And then try and get it so up. So basically, like, put no paint on it. Like, just boom, boom, yeah, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Why are, you taking, one, why are you putting the paint on? Because I'm trying to make sure it's all around. Well, I don't know where it's all around. I don't know. I'm just going to try this. So okay. now this, you want to go directly from the top down. Okay. So down strokes. Okay, so from me, the top. Me, so you want to go... Because what this is doing is it's the light that's coming down from the top. Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Yours now. I mean, Yours okay, is okay, so you, you blend it a bit more. Yep. I'm a little bit more harsh. The next step, you're just gonna grab any of these speed paints. There isn't any mixing when it comes to this. You're literally taking the the paint directly from the bottle, you're gonna put it onto the palette, picking different parts of it to choose color. So if you're looking at the cloak, if you want it to be all red, you're gonna just take the red paint from there. You're gonna be putting it on your brush and you're just gonna be putting, slapping it directly on there. Okay, so okay. Don't worry about shooting. On here? Yep. For those of you who can't see it on screen, that's just me putting red on the plate. Just wherever the cloak is that you want the red to be, just get it on there. Can you turn around and show me what it looks like? Very thin paint. It is, and it kind of... Uh, is it the same type of um, premise as like Warhammer paints where thin coats are better than one thick coat? Or Not this one because it's always one coat anyway. The, the idea behind it being you get um, the one coat that gives you the entire definition because you've done all the like shading and everything else like that with the, the dry brushing. I think my girl is going to turn out really badass because it has really nice contrast. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of... Um, aggressive colors that are in there. If I go over an area that I need to paint another color, am I in trouble? Uh, you can wet the brush and try to wake, wake away the paint. It does reactivate a little bit. I don't know what that means. It, um, you basically will be able to erase your mistakes if it happens. Oh, but like with regular painting, like when I go in there, right? Yep, you can I go think, over top of it. Yeah, you can go over top of it, so I can't do that with speed painting. It's a little bit more difficult because it is a lot more of an opaque uh, co color. What else are we making red? The sleeve here? Yeah, probably the sleeve. The sleeves, yeah. The heat guys here, right? Yep. This is speed painting, right? So I'm not sitting here looking at like all the nitty gritty? Nope. Okay. As long as it's kind of done and you're happy with your colors and stuff, that's all. 
screen right over. Let me see. Where's the... That's the blue top. So you just, just were throwing the tops over. <laughs> Mine's still drying. Does not look too shabby. The only place that I can see my uh, inadequacy is in the cloak. The cloak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's where... That was a lack of good instruction. You've never bad learners, only bad teachers. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. So these are finished models? These or? are tabletop ready. So they have their colors on them. You got the multiple, like, with the blue, the yellow. As long as there's three models, you can get them on, or colors, you can get them on the tabletop and play them. They turned out pretty wait, wait, good. Wait, you need three couple colors to get them on the tabletop? For tournament standard, yes. Okay. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I don't know how long it took us. You, I mean, when you go back and edit the video, you can figure it out. I mean, to be honest, though, I really enjoy the ones that are painted. Properly, yeah. yeah. Like, I get the lure of speed painting. Oh, I forgot to paint her belt. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. But I get the lure of speed painting, but yeah, it does look like you're basically slapping a bunch of, you're slap chopping. It is, yes, because what it is, and it's especially useful if you're Mine doing- Mine looks like crap, by the way. If you're doing troops. So if you have 20, 30, 40 troops that you're just trying to get paint on for getting things done. But there you go. You can actually see what it feel, what it looks like it says speed paint for the first time. And I've never done it before in my life, and you can definitely tell. Yeah. But that's how you can do slap chop from the very beginning, give you an idea of how you would use it and a beginner perspective from it, where it's not just someone who has hundreds of hours of practice and then just yeah, no, it's, carefully gets- It doesn't gets... look that great. I, I think most of the YouTube videos are lying to you. You are not gonna look that great the first time you do it, the second time you do it, the third time you do it. Pretty sure he's done it a few more times than me. I have. Um, but nope, it will look as decrepit as this model that we will put up somewhere here. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, Everyone, thank you for uh, checking the video out. I hope this got you learning about Slap Chop, how you can do it yourself. Uh, and that's not as easy as everyone makes it no, out to it be. No, it really isn't. Uh, it definitely isn't. And if you like us doing these painting videos, please let us know down below. Please like and subscribe if you like our content. And last of all, there are ways to support us down below, whether it's you know YouTube channel memberships, Patreon memberships, but let us know if you want some of this stuff because I am totally new to the hobby. So if you want to see a real person do it in the real world setting, this is where you can come for that information. And if you are coming and wanting to get into the hobby in general and wanting to understand a little bit about the different prongs of Warhammer 40K as a hobby, you can check out the video where I go over those three prongs for surprise uh, right up on the screen right now. And that's it for now. Bye. Bye. Peace.